just in the south of France aboard the Geno 58 yacht just prepping the boat for a handover almost the end of commissioning so I'll just slide show you uh, and take you a quick look around so starting at the back of the boat you can see this one is a teak deck version teak floor which most people go for she has the electric primary winches she also has the stern winches and electric rewind coach winches. They've gone for the freezer option, fridge in the cockpit table. Just coming around to the helm. Okay, down here we have the start control. We have the throttle. Uh, all the main controls are on the starboard side of this boat, so you've got your electric winches on the starboard side as well. We have engine management control. This one's got bow and retractable stern thruster. This is your um, windlass control with chain counter. And you have your tri-data raymarine and your autopilot. Large raymarine plotter on a pivoting pod. So we haven't quite put the bimini or spray hood on this boat yet, so that's the next stage. See so it's got the pins in the deck here to put in the side mounted gate as an option. Just take you forward, there's the large deck step ready to take the mast. Uh, on this boat, the uh, the mast goes all the way through the boat, so normally conventionally you have a deck step mast, but this one is a keel step version. In the locker forward, they've gone for the skipper's cabin. So the skipper's ca cabin comes with two bunk beds, a locker there. And as you can see on the stern side, it comes with a toilet, sink, which has a uh, retractable shutter lid, has plugs in the corner, and it's got heating duct as well. Captive winch forward with a very large chain up it. So as you can see, the 58 is a very, very big deck. Very wide side decks. Shrouds are all inbound, so easy to walk past the rigging on this model. She's also got a garage on this one, and they've gone for the tender handling system. Large ladder for getting in out of the water. Here's the tender control system which deploys into the water for easy access. You also have then many lockers to gain access to the internals of the boat. Those pumps for instance and there's a larger locker on the starboard side. Shore power ignited. Quick nose inside. This one's come in the light oak version and they've gone for the cream PVC standard fabric. So she's got a very large saloon on the 58, proper size dedicated char table. This boat comes with heating and air conditioning. 
you can see the nav station is slightly different from the Sonosi range. It's also got the throttle downstairs with the VHF. Battery controls on the side locker here, which is nice. And we've gone for the forward owners and two stern aft version. Got some gear here left to put on, stuff for the handle system, all the manuals. Lots of light ventilation, got air conditioning outlets, control units down the corner here for your heating and air con. Head system dedicated for both stern heads on this boat. Lovely size galley, lots of storage. Lovely finish. Got the leather inlaid doors. And then a replicated port side stern cabin. This one has the electric toilets. Got lovely four hatches in the centre of the saloon. Loads of light coming, as well as being large hull ports on the sides and on the deck. Okay, so forward into the owner's cabin. Huge full width, full length wardrobe. This one's gone for the TV option, vanity station. Again, heating a con throughout. Loads of space in the forward cabin. Electric heads as well, on the separate shower unit. So there's the Geno 58 just before handover, almost finished commissioning. Any questions? Give me a shout. Thank you.